three, two, one. What's up, mi gente? I'm back at this again for the third week. Now, if you are one to look at my watermarks with the times that I do on every single episode, you will realize that I shot this episode as soon as I finished last week's episode. And there is a reason for that because the next time you see the, the fourth episode, so the episode after this one, you're gonna see a changing of a background. And that's, owe you an explanation for that, but let's just say right now there's things going on and you know, there's a possible move going on and uh, yeah, so I gotta deal with all that. So I had to shoot this week's episode ahead and it's crazy because the last episode that I just shot, um, episode two was, was a heavy one, you know? It was a conversation that needed to be had but I'm glad I did it and you know now we can move on and shoot the second one but typically I am going to be shooting these episodes week by week so this week's episode I still don't know the title of it but it's all about social media that's right and I want to start with the ho oh do I have no cards I do I mean did you guys see it last episode I mean I'm sticking with them, you know, because it's, you know, I have four little points I want to make sure that I, I hit because like I said, this is a show where I'm doing for 12 minutes every single week. No, why did the, what you hear right now, in the, oh, I don't know if you can actually hear it because I'm using my mics. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't know if you'll be able to hear that because I shoot this in the kitchen that I live where I live at right now and the fridge is literally five feet away from me. So when it, sometimes it turns on, you hear the in the background, but that's near here or there because once again, things are changing soon and quick and yeah, uh, I, there's a reason why I had to shoot this uh, episode ahead. Snapchat versus Instagram. This is a topic that I've touched in the past. Once again, I'm gonna bring up the podcast that I did with one of my friends, Brian Medina, but uh, it's years down the road. And I remember back then I used to say, oh, Snapchat. This was like right during the turning when it was announced that Snapchat was going to be doing stories. And I remember a lot of people jumped on the ship of, oh, we're going towards Instagram because, you know, Snapchat's going to be put on the side. And, you know, I've actually been a person that stuck with Snapchat just because, how do I explain this? I went, I just went, this weekend, I just went back to IG. Like I, I had posted and I had said, you know what, I'm, I'm going back to Instagram. I'm going to give Snapchat a break. So what I did was I put Snapchat on a different page on my phone. Now it's harder for me to go. Like I could literally swipe it, but those apps are just like secondary. I never really go on that page, but the main one. So I put Instagram on my main page and now, you know, I'm posting stories on there. I kind of want to see because I do have a bigger following on Instagram from back in the day. And it was crazy because I looked at my first picture and like the first picture I ever posted was back in 2000. 2010, I was a junior or a sophomore in high school and I'm just like, wow, it's been that like, you know, it's 10 years that these apps have been around and I'm right now I'm 25 and let's get to this, man. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this one. Anxiety, right? Listen, when I was a kid and I had just gotten a phone, I always used to see girls talking about like, oh my God, I got my phone bill and I had like 3000 text messages, right? And like, you'd go back on yours and you'd be like, man, like, damn, who are these girls texting? Like, you know, their friends and stuff like that. And you're just like, now at the age of 25 and living with a phone for way more than 10 years, I can tell you, I've gotten to that point where like the other day, a month or so ago, <laughs> man, I'm blind. I'm just looking at the timer, but I obviously took off my glasses like and changed my hat. Like that's the only thing that just happened from last episode to now, cause it's the same day. <laughs> I had like eight messages waiting for me, right? And I think I have I was charging my phone and like the, I looked at my phone and I was like, oh my god, like what happened? Cause it's like ten years ago I couldn't I, I couldn't be more excited to get all these messages, you know? And like the older you get, it's like, oh like the first thing that hits in my mind's like, oh my god, what happened? You know, like, oh shoot, did something happen? Like family, you know, you check and then sometimes and I hate this. And I and a couple years back I was cool with it. Sure, let's be in a group chat, whatever. Now when I see me being added to group chats and I see numbers that I don't even know, and if you start a group chat and I'm in it and I don't know any of the phone numbers, yo, like iPhone should be able to be like eject 
I don't want to be in this group chat. Eject me out of this thing. Because the only other thing I could do, which I did, was block a lot of those numbers that were texting. Because I'm like, yo, I don't talk to you guys, you know? Like, don't text me out of work. Don't text me out of, you know, like, don't. I don't want to talk to you. And and that gets to, like, it's crazy. Like, I don't know what anxiety is, but it just, I just had that feeling. I was just like, oh, my God, like, why, why, why do I have eight, num- like, the fact that I have eight messages unread and it's, like, tw- it's, like, it gets my nerves, like, oh, my God, what happened? It just shows you what happens with this technology. It's, like, you know, now people don't call. You know, people before used to want to call, hear your ringtone. Now, like, that's not even a thing. Have your phone on silent, text me, you know. It's just crazy to see. When I started this channel, one of the things was, like, delete a lot of apps that were on my phone. And I remember Instagram and, and I think Snapchat, Twitter. I haven't been on Twitter on the longest. I can't tell you the last tweet I had. I put out there in the world but I don't even have that app on my phone Facebook pff, I think I I think I lasted maybe six months after high school with Facebook and as soon as I deleted that was like the first app that I deleted off my phone where I realized I'm like oh you don't need this you know and it's just like you look there you you know you look for stuff and sure memes are funny and stuff but it's like I got better things to do, you know. And now, like, if you have an iPhone, you can relate because every Sunday, I think, it sends you like an uh, a breakdown of how many hours you spend on your phone, whether that be social media, whether that be just your phone on or like music entertainment. And like, you look at it, and you're like, I average seven, six hours a day on my phone. Like, what am I doing? Mind you, sometimes you know that's kind of skewed because if I'm like going to work and I'm listening to a podcast, like. I don't count that as me being on my phone because I'm just listening. Now that I got him back on Instagram, I can safely say this out loud. I've gotten back to like waking up and like first thing I do is go on Instagram. Like with Snapchat, I really didn't do that because you can, and I've realized that these last two days you can actually mute people's stories and that's what I have on Snapchat. Like I have, like the only way for me to see somebody's story on Snapchat is if you saw my story, I can look at your circle and then I can click on it and then I'll look at your story, but it won't pop out and that feels the best. So I'm doing this experiment for like, I think maybe three to four months. I'm going to be, you know, back on IG and, and see, you know, especially with these videos I'll be posting, I'm going to share that on, on, on that social media and I've seen it and, and it's crazy because some of my aunts are on Instagram and they like, you know, comment and like like my stuff which is it's funny and it's cute but like still i'm like i got out of facebook because of this and then now a lot of people said that because you can't see the number of likes which i personally like because it's like what's the point you know instagram's more to just show pictures of whatever and right now i'm posting a picture every single monday so i'm gonna be doing that i think once i finish doing that um, I'm going to go back. I'm going to delete the app again. I'm going to delete it, delete it off my phone and go back to Snapchat. Just because Snapchat's easier. You save it. You know, they have the cool filters, whatever I use here and there, there. But it's easier. You can communicate people. You you know, you po- if you post something, it's on there for 24 hours, it's gone. You know, and if it's a picture, take it off your regular phone. Like, all these new phones. Like, I've seen the new, like, uh iPhones and you know Android and all these pictures are like literally like that's a selling point because it's like you don't need a camera for pictures anymore you can take like really good pictures off your phones here's my question how many apps do you need to stay in content with the same number of people I've said this question like five years ago when I shot that video of me deleting all like the social media stuff of my phone. And like, even five years later, I'm still asking, or whatever, three years later, I'm still asking that question, like, what is going on? If I know you and I like you and I have your phone and you're my friend, you're on my contacts, I can hit you directly. I still have all these, like these these other social media apps I still have. The only one I don't have, which is new, is TikTok. And I'm at that age where I'm like, eh, don't really need it, not gonna really have it. Like, I'm just gonna lay back on that one, so. Not a big fan of that one. Um, I like, sometimes I watch their comps on YouTube, but for me to like go on there, make one and nah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I think like eventually I'm just going to stick with YouTube and like not have any social media. Honestly, like I, I don't know because I feel like social, like if I were to stick with one, I might, I'm giving Instagram a chance. I'm, I'm genuinely in, I'm going to, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to give it a chance, but if I don't like it at the end, I'm going to stick with Snapchat and then, oh, well, if you if you follow me and you have Snapchat, you can follow me on there. Both my Instagram and 
my Snapchat is famous ruler, everything together, no spaces, no numbers, no no hyphens, no you know underline, nothing, no no dots, no periods. It's clear as day. It is F A M O U S R U L E R, famous ruler. It's one word. Go follow me. Go hit me up. Uh, if you hit me up on Snapchat right now, probably won't look at it because I'm not really looking at that you know so vividly. I am on Instagram, so. For right now, check me out on Instagram if you care. It leads me to my last question. It's like, where's all this gonna go? You know, what's next? You know, I know TikTok's around right now. It's the biggest app in the world, but who knows? Who knows where this social media thing's gonna be in the next 10 years, you know? It's like, oh, and here's one thing I have to say before I leave. I remember that back in high school, it was me and this girl, Alyssa. She knows who she is. If she ever watches this, she's gonna get a laugh out of it. But I remember it was only me and her who had like Twitter. We were like the first ones in Twitter. I had Twitter since like maybe 09. I remember like one of my first tweets or I don't know if I deleted those, but like I remember the one of the first things that I ever tweeted was like, oh my God, can't believe we just had a food fight during like lunch B or something. It was crazy. And it was like, I remember I had tweeted it and she was like the only other person in the school that had Twitter. So she like came to me. She was like, oh my God, are you serious? Like, that was one thing I remember like having early on. I was like, damn, like this is crazy. Like Twitter was back then a thing. And I know people still like it to this day, but I don't know. I just, I rather not read people's thoughts because I could care less. <laughs> I'm just being frank with you guys. Like I, I could care. I don't even care about reading my own tweets. Like who knows what's out there? Uh, nothing crazy. No, nothing that won't cancel me. Um, I'll tell you that for sure. Like always, if you have any stories, things you want to guys share, go ahead. Please use the comments down below. I want to read your side of things, your opinions, your stories. And with all that being said, I will see you next week.